Brody friends. Um, today's going to be a little bit of a different video in terms of I'm going to um, just do some sharing and a couple of giveaways and then I'm going to take a break and I'm going to go to my Zoom class, my very first uh, Zoom class with Jean Wells from The Stitching Post and then after that class I'll come back on this video and share with you my experience because I am sure I could be totally wrong but I know how I would feel I'm sure she's probably a little bit nervous and and this is the first um, zoom class she's done I am not even I can't hardly conceive of how that's done but I know all of our grandchildren and children are having interactive classes with their teachers so hey time for us to move into the next phase of learning I guess um, it's like I read this really positive it was a sad but a positive note by a restaurateur in Portland and he owned uh, five restaurants they are located near um, the Moda Center, the Convention Center, and that area, and he was going to be closing all of them because the current model of restaurants, the way restaurants function now, the way you make money is by crowds, and so that is totally changed. But he, he was really, I really liked his outlook on it. He said, there will be a new generation of restaurateurs who will be able to think outside the box and create a new model for restaurants going forward in in the climate that we are in and may be in uh, in the future. So I, I loved his attitude that we have to kind of step forward. Uh, we can't I, I cannot grieve any more for all that I've lost. I cannot. I am ready to move forward. And this Zoom class is kind of, it's really exciting to me. And then I thought, boy, if that worked, I could do my own little Zoom tutorials if I wanted to. Um, although don't expect that because I can't add one more thing to my plate. But, um, which leads me <laughs> to the giveaways. I've been doing giveaways for years. I mean, the 12 Days of Christmas giveaways uh, I've done for several years. And it is always interesting to me that um, people will enter a giveaway and then I'll never hear from them back. I don't, and you know, it could be that something happened in their life and their life got interrupted and I'm like low on the priority to check if they won the giveaway. But uh, I personally, I'm just explain. I'm not whining, I'm just explaining to you. My schedule doesn't allow me to chase people down. So I give them, you know, two, three weeks sometimes to contact me. I don't, um, I don't try to find them. I, I figure that if they really wanted it, they would be coming back to hear the announcement. That's just the, that's just the thing, you know. And um, it's because of my schedule. I, I really don't, especially when I did those twelve days of Christmas giveaways. Oh my gosh, trying to keep track of those and get them out was is quite the job. So with that said, I never heard from the giveaway winner of the $50 gift certificate. Yeah, I never heard. No Gmail. Um, you know, uh, it's easy to respond back on that platform and I've not heard from her. So what that means for you guys the $50 gift card is up for grabs again. The only thing that I ask is that you please be a subscriber because then you're going to be able to respond that you are the winner and that you only 
leave a comment on the YouTube channel. Do not leave, I post this video to Facebook and to my blog as a way for people um, to be able to read it, but I can't, it's too much work to compile those comments into the um, comments on the YouTube channel. So just so you know, you have to comment on the YouTube channel, sorry, and you have to be a subscriber. Yeah. And so what I'm asking you to leave in the comments is that you'd love to shop at the Stitch and Post. Just use Stitch and Post. I will use the word post. That's what I did last time because everybody, you know, we all go stitching or stitching. I will use the word post as the as the random word search for this $50 gift card up for grabs. And then um, I received a lovely package from uh, from a longtime person who's been hanging around on the social media platforms with me. And um, included in it were two absolutely gorgeous pieces of chicken wire fabric. <laughs> that is so me. That is so me. <laughs> I, I'm just going to, you know, I might use this one in a project bag. Anyway, um, and in the card was this lovely, lovely antique key, which I love keys. You know, I don't care if they're real or fake or whatever. I, I use them in my crafts, so I love this. This is a key to our friendship, yes. And then, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you your na her name because you're going to recognize the behavior. She accidentally bought two extra patterns of the same pattern. Who has not done that? And so she sent me the extra two patterns. And so we're going to give them away here because I already have this pattern and I've already made it. Yeah, because... It says B for my last name and for Buttermilk Basin. So here are two patterns. And these are her fabulous, beautiful little truck patterns by Stacy West of Buttermilk Basin. And so if you are interested in one of these patterns, in your comment, also just mention I love Buttermilk Basin, and I will use Buttermilk Basin as the word search for the giveaway. So this video, we have the $50 shopping gift card and two patterns of Buttermilk Basins. Know that I'm not going to chase you down when I pick the winner, and I will pick the winner in the very next video. And then you will have a week or two, maybe just a week to get back to me because otherwise I'm going to spend it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to spend it. So I, um, I know you heard that my uh, very favorite shop, uh, um, you know, it's on my top list, Old World Quilt Shop, is going online. Um, she might open up in a physical shop again, but um, it just financially wasn't uh, good for her right now, so she's going online. And I just kind of grieved. I grieved because there's that shop was absolutely beautiful to walk into. And I know someday she'll open that shop again and it will be equally beautiful. But in my grief, I placed an order with the online shop because there was a pattern in a kit that I have wanted forever but I keep buying other things. 
So I put an order in for an 1894 cottonwood house um, pillow. One of those uh, big long pillows. It's like this size. And it's for 4th of July. And I... Can I get it done before then? Hmm. It would mean we'd have to do a tutorial on prepping. I'd have to prep it. But it's a wool pillow. And it's the silhouette of the kids marching across the pillow. Oh, it's so cute. And all the wool is in there. And then because she's a sweetheart, she sent me two fat quarters of boats. Thank you, Monique. And my very favorite, <laughs> my very favorite Cosmo floss winders. I love those. I love those. So I, um, yeah, I might have to make a project bag out of these boats, sailboats, because it came from a sailing family, and I have a love of sailboats. So that was that. And today, this morning, I'm finishing up a pillowcase I'm making because um, I got a birthday boy this weekend. And uh, so he, uh, I decided to make him a Star Wars pillowcase. I thought I had enough Star Wars fabric to make a pillowcase, but I did not. Because what was really weird is I... You would think this would be enough for the body. It's it's a great Star Wars fabric. It's a great Star Wars fabric. But when I went to look at it, it they seamed it. I've never seen this before. Like they butted up the manufacturer butted up two pieces of fabric and lined them up perfectly so you could not see that there was a flaw yeah i'm i'm telling you this is this is the weirdest thing so here's a, here's the piece of fabric but right here let me see oh i know what i'll do i will put this over this okay right here all the way across these are two pieces of fabrics that have been butted together perfectly with a whole zigzag seam so you couldn't see it from the front i've never seen that before i think that is not nice because now this would have been the body of the pillowcase but this is not you know it it feels like it would come apart after some and even when I pull it a little bit I can see the color comes apart so it was disappointing so I had to uh, when I was at Joann's I went to look for more Star Wars fabric because I could use this for the band I have enough for the band of the pillowcase and luckily, I found this base. It says BB-8, and it has that cute little Star Wars figure in it. And then this will be the little trim piece. So that's, see how pretty that looks together? <laughs> so I'm going to be doing that this morning, because his presents getting picked up tomorrow by his aunt. And then I couldn't pass up this um, Harry Potter fabric. I don't know. I'm a Harry Potter freak. I know some of you could care less about it. But um, this had uh, Quidditch and Hogwarts and um, all, all the rules and regulations of playing Quidditch on it. So <laughs> I had to have that piece. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. <laughs> pretty funny. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> Okay, so now we'll just take a break here, and when I come back, I'll give you a review of my Zoom class. I am way excited about it. Just the potential of, just think, if, if we could get all our instructors kind of 
excited about this process, then even if we can't travel, we could maybe take a class where we could interact with the instructor um, all over the world. I mean, Jen Kingwell, here I come. <laughs> okay, stay tuned. Hi everyone, I'm back. It's later in the day, same day though, but I wanted to give you an update. First of all, I finished my Star Wars pillowcase and it turned out fabulous. Fabulous. So I'm really happy about that. And I attended my Zoom class with Jean Wells. Oh my gosh, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Um, I um, would not hesitate to sign up for a Zoom class, um, especially, you know, um, with the fact that you're in the comfort of your own home. I mean, I am not kidding you. I, for their first attempt at, at this type of format, I thought it went very, very well. And um, <laughs> you have to understand, I mean, to me, I mean, Jean is like a uh, art quilt rock star. And so um, to be in a class with her in the comfort of my own home um, was was a win-win, I think. I really enjoyed it, and I, I wouldn't hesitate now to sign up for any kind of Zoom class because I think that that format might be um, a part of our future, and I very much enjoyed it. It started out with an introduction, and she... Um, and. Uh, the platform was muted for the students um, so there wouldn't be a lot of interruption or, or um, chatter going on and so Jean, Jean did her lecture and um, and you could type in questions as you um, wanted and then um, those questions were read towards the end of, and she answered that. So it was um, just a really, really enjoyable class and it gave me great hope for being able to maybe take classes with teachers that I wouldn't otherwise be able to travel to or, um, or have an opportunity, just schedule-wise, have an opportunity. Uh, yeah, it was just really, really a good deal. And so there are two more classes that you can take through the stitching post, but I have high hopes that this will be a continuous um, uh, platform in which they can um, share the wealth of knowledge. Yeah. Uh, I can see this opening up for all kinds. I mean, just think if uh, Jen Kingwell in Australia um, could uh, have a Zoom class and we could maybe see her before next year. <laughs> that would be awesome. That would be awesome. So, um, yeah, just a really, really enjoyable experience. So I wanted to give you that review, so if you had any hesitation to that, um, they send you out, like in this situation, they sent us out a class ID and a password so that there would be no, no one getting in the class that hadn't registered for it. And, oh, and this is the best thing. I took the opportunity to just sit and listen to the lecture while I stitched down a binding <laughs> yeah because since you have purchased the zoom class Valerie is going to um, record that class and then post it 
to each of the students. So I didn't feel the pressure to take notes and to write it all down because I knew I was going to have the opportunity to watch it again at my own leisure. So I just tacked a binding down, <laughs> had a snack and a glass of iced tea. <laughs> Yeah, so there's my review. I hope the rest of your day goes well, and we shall see you again soon. Thanks for watching. And be sure to like and subscribe on Quilt Roadies.